Hi Kayleigh. Hi Chris. Okay, so a couple of months ago we spent three days down in Devon packing up this Star Wars collection mm -hmm. from one guy's house. Um, I haven't really seen it much after that, but obviously you've been spending a lot of time on it. Uh, tell me about it. Yeah, so it was all, most of it was packed away in boxes. He had a little bit of it on display, but most of it hasn't seen the light of day for quite a long time. So as you can see, it all looks really nice in the cabinets. It took us about three days at the uh, location to pack it all up. Yeah, and yeah box I remember it up. that one. Yeah. And uh, it's taken us quite a lot longer at the other end to get it all sorted, photographed and catalogued ready for the auction. Yeah, big job, big job. Okay, so I know I've seen a lot of these 12 packs before, we sold a lot of those before. I'm not, I can't say I've seen any of these, uh, certainly not at our auction before, these droids cards. Tell me about those. So these were released in 1985 um, to go with the droids cartoon animated uh, series. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, it was aimed at younger viewers than Star Wars itself. Um, it, it only had one series, so it was quite short lived. Um, it was right at the tail end of the popularity of Star Wars when it was all dying off a bit. So, so you don't see them too often because they just weren't hanging around for too long. Okay. So are any of these, what kind of money are these worth then? Anything um, special there? Yeah, it, they vary in price quite a lot. Um, the most desirable ones are the characters that everybody recognises from Star Wars. We've got R2-D2. Yeah, that's a different model of R2-D2, yeah. isn't it, to the yeah, normal one? Yeah, they Doesn't look quite as good, does it? On his, uh, yeah, it's more, more cartoony. Yeah. And I'm not sure if I like that. Yeah. That's the same model. Yeah, he That's... wasn't actually in the team in the cartoon series. They just reused the figure from the original Star Wars line. What's, is that not a screenshot then? That looks no, like... the the car, the artwork wasn't taken from the series. Right, it's okay. different artwork. Okay. Um, and then we've got Boba Fett, he was only in one episode. Well, that's the same thing as normal, right? Yeah, he's mostly the same. Yeah. So you'll recognise him. Uh, we're expecting him to sell quite well. Unfortunately, the card isn't in great condition, um, but we're expecting Still not him. Bad. Yeah, we're expecting him to sell for about fourteen to eighteen hundred pounds. Whoa, okay, so that's a fairly rare one then. Yeah, yeah, popular character. <laughs> Is that rare, having the Toys R Us sticker? Yeah, it will be now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I know the, these are the very first series of figures, aren't yeah. they? Are they, tw are they 12 back ones? Or? Yeah, so these yeah. are all 12 back figures. Most of them are Palatoy. We've got one from Kenner here. Um, the Is that worth more or less than the Palatoy ones? Um, Palatoy tends to be a little bit more popular in this country. Uh, Palatoy were the company that released them in the UK. And yeah. Kenner were the American company. Okay. So yeah, even I know this. So that this is it means it was the first six months or something of release, yeah, first so, year of release. Yes, yeah, so these come out in nineteen seventy eight, and there were twelve figures in the series to begin with until they added more on later on. Yeah. So what's the out of these? What's the what? Is there anything particularly that's rarer than the others or worth more money? Uh, the princess Leia figure is in quite nice condition, so we're expecting she'll sell. For the most out of this collection, we're expecting her to reach about four to six hundred pounds. Um, it's been punched at the top, so it has been hung up. But apart from that, it's in yeah. quite nice condition. Yeah, pretty good condition for the age, I'd say. Yeah. Excellent. And then we've got some interesting, also palatoy toys. We've got these diecast vehicles. Um, these are yeah. interesting because there's a factory error on the back of the boxes. Um, where it should have some blurb about the Millennium Falcon, it says... Oh, I can see, yeah. <laughs> the Empire's largest spacecraft, and obviously it isn't one of the Empire's uh, spacecraft, it's the Millennium Falcon, yeah. privately owned. Yeah, so we'll have to see how that does. We're expecting it to sell for £140. And what would that fetch if it hadn't got the error on the box? Well, we, we don't, don't know. know. We haven't sold one of those before. Okay. Um, with with the error, so we've put it in a little bit higher than usual. Oh right, okay, yeah. So moving on to the Lego, then I know this is a massive part of the collection. I've seen we packed up tons of Lego sets. The vendor told me he reckons he's got pretty much every, maybe not every single one, but most of the Lego sets you could ever get. Yeah, Star it's Wars a really Legos. really extensive collection of Lego. Uh, loads of gems in this section. Yeah. So yeah. these are two of the 
bigger, more impressive sets, I guess. You've got the Death Star original trilogy edition, the Super Star Destroyer, that's from the Empire Strikes Back, I think, is it? Um, what's that worth then? Uh, this set we're expecting to get about three to five hundred pounds okay. and six to eight hundred on the Death Star. Yeah. Uh, huge sets and really desirable. Do you know if that's more or less than they would have cost originally? So it would have been expensive. Yeah, I think. Anyway. Yeah, I think. It, I'm not quite sure what they retailed at, but it was definitely, definitely quite a lot. But they're, but they're discontinued, aren't they? Yeah, and you that's can't the get case them for, new anymore. Yeah. So. And that's the case like, for most of the sets. Yeah, okay. yeah, you can't. Buy and these are actually sealed like that. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, yeah. Okay. So you can't, they, they're perfect condition. Fantastic. And what's this? Just a box of loose Lego? Yeah, that's what it looks like to the untrained eye. But we've, this is the Lego Cloud City set, unfortunately missing its box. Uh, okay. This is a really popular set um, and minifigures are extremely popular from this set. This is the only set you could get this particular Boba Fett, our friend, again. Yeah. Um, he's got printed arms and legs and this is the only set he came like that in. And a couple of the other minifigures were only available in this set as well. So this is that's your only chance to get hold of these. Um, even unboxed, we're expecting it to get two to three hundred pounds. Okay. Not bad, is it, for a bag of bricks? And so I guess the bulk, the other real big bulk of the collection is these more more modern. I mean some of them still go back to what, nineteen yeah, eighty five, so something like that. So the, these Power of the Force 2, these were when Star Wars toys came back in the mid 90s. Okay. And um, so the modern part of the collection starts from there with figures, vehicles, creatures, all of that sort of thing, and continues right up until the um, modern releases. Yeah. Fantastic. And there's absolutely huge amounts. Yeah. It's, all, it's all been, for the most part, been stored pretty well. Good investment, I suppose, as well. for. For collectors, if you haven't got the budget to spend a thousand pounds on a original carded figure or a few hundred pounds, then some of these lots yeah. you can buy at sort of ten ten pounds an item, five pounds an item. Yeah, there's some bargains so. to be had with the modern stuff, definitely. Okay, great. And um, so, when is the when's the auction? It's on the 18th of September. Um, yeah. it starts at ten o'clock. People can come and view the day before and on the morning of the auction from 8 o'clock okay. before the sale starts and they can bid online from anywhere in the world if they can't make it and ask for a written condition report if they want closer details of anything and extra pictures we can yeah, do yeah. all of that sounds good be an exciting exciting day then yeah we look really looking forward to it sounds good and, after, and overall have you got any i mean I know it's difficult to say, but have you got any expectations on what you think the whole collection is going to going to make? Yeah, overall, it should make over a hundred thousand pounds. Whoa, six figures. Yeah. Okay.